The unhonorable Elijah Muhammad was a messenger of God, huh? A special divine prophet chosen by God? Come on, man. Grown adults actually believe this shit. What a tragic sickness to be so intellectually bankrupt that you believe a regular guy from Georgia was sent by God to spread a message of racism, hate, and ignorance around the world. All in an effort to uplift yourself and make yourself feel better. But let's not take uh, my word for it. Let's look at what the evidence actually says. This weak, frail, prince-looking little reject from Georgia didn't even graduate elementary school. Nope. I think he only graduated from the third grade. He was a criminal and a coward, a draft dodger who wouldn't fight for the same country he wanted so desperately to buy land in. He was a liar and a sexual deviant, lying to his wife, having, uh, having relationships with numerous secretaries and, and young women at the NOI, abusing his power like a Jim Jones character or the cult leader that he really was. He ultimately ended up fathering over 20 children. I think he had 23 kids. But what about his death? Anything special there? Nope. Did he live to be 100 years old or 150 because he was so divine and God granted him longevity because his message was so important to uphold? Nope. He died at 77. Yeah, man. He died from diabetes, bronchitis, asthma, and congestive heart failure. Not a very special guy. Just regular guy. Weird that a guy from God couldn't even figure out his own diet, huh? Besides all of that, let's examine his life and see if um, these and see if there truly is any evidence at all that he was special and sent by God. Did he perform any supernatural feats? Nope. Did he invent or did he invent the internet or cell phones to help get it, to help get God's message out more effectively? Nope. Just regular old newspapers, man. <laughs> so the question really is, why didn't this so-called messenger from God bring his people any important proprietary exclusive valuable information he didn't give his people any amazing scientific revelations he didn't produce any unbelievable medical advancements for his people he didn't bring forth any new technological breakthroughs or inventions he didn't have any divine socio-economic plans that kept his people safe from the tyranny of whitey hmm, none of this shit lives on man you still down see downtrodden people getting fucked up by whitey so your message was so weak that it just didn't work he didn't have any answers about quantum physics or why the universe is expanding more rapidly. He didn't deliver a single piece of evidence that would be applicable today for making his people live longer. The only thing he did was be a regular dude who tricked a bunch of so-called black people into believing he was sent from God, bought a bunch of land, started a bunch of businesses using his followers' money, and then guess what he did? Of course, he funneled it into his own pockets. <laughs> Dude was a messenger from God, but had no message about controlling his own diabetes, huh? God sent you down, but didn't tell you how to control your own bronchitis? The fuck? Get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> the truth is, he brought forth no special or previously unknown divine information. Elon Musk from Tesla is a better messenger of God than this guy. He's more believable. It's always shocking to me that these adults or people that are adults believe this bullshit. But the reason is, it's so obvious, man. You target poor, economically downtrodden group of society who has no hope and is being persecuted and wants something to believe in or grasp onto. Then you show up, tell them that they're God's people to make them feel good about themselves. Tell them that you're God's messenger. And then you start preaching against the people who are holding them down. It's a low-level psych psychological tactic, man. It's fucking basic. And people who fall for it need mental help. Oh, and also, Elijah Muhammad delivered the, message, delivered, delivered the message of God. If he delivered the message of God, who heard it? Oh, Minister Farrakhan heard it, did he? Well, well, what did he do with it? Oh, he just said his asshole was falling out because of radiation treatment that he received. Hmm. Farrakhan, why did you need to receive radiation treatment from Whitey? Oh, yeah, I know why. Because... Your God didn't deliver any important information in the message of how to deal with it any other, better, more effective, or efficient way. Nah, he didn't. Oh, and finally, I just wanted to say this before I get out of here. I frequently hear NOI members saying they dress up in uniform because they don't want to wear the slave master's clothing. Well, did you assholes know that that nice little bow tie that you wear, that you're so proud of, it was actually invented by white people? <laughs> yeah, bro, look it up.
Croatian mercenaries invented them during the 30 years war of the 17th century. So congratulations, even your bow tie, even your bow tie tradition is shit. I see you soon, man. I am the atheist killer. I'm out, man. Peace.